At the heart of the kit is the ballast. The standard equipment is XB35, which is 35 watt, and then there's also an XB55, which is a 50 watt version. This one doesn't cost any more. It actually produces more light by about 20%, but at the expense of lifetime, because these are rated for three years instead of five, like the XB, uh, XB35, just because they run a little bit hotter. You gotta have a little bit of give and take there. One of the nice thing about the ballast is that the igniters are actually separate. This is kind of more like original equipment ballast. There's not really a lot of aftermarket ballasts that are like that, which have separate igniters, which are also removable from the ballast. So that way, if in the rare case that something actually does go bad, we can just send you a replacement igniter and you don't have to replace the entire ballast system. It also makes troubleshooting and serviceability a little bit easier. So you'll see that there's an option for igniters in the kit, which isn't really as much of an option as it is standard. You don't really have the choice whether or not to use them. You do need the igniter, which is this part, produces the high voltage that runs the bulb. Looking at bulbs themselves, we always have at least three options for Kelvin rating, 4500K, 5500K, or 6500K. Any vehicle from the factory with HID headlights comes with something around a 4500K. It's basically like a warm white light and produces a ton of lumens, about 3400 lumens. 5500K is going to be more of a pure white neutral light which increases the contrast while driving at night without really drastically decreasing the amount of lumens from the headlight. 5500K is by far the most popular Kelvin rating that we sell. And then the other one is a 6500K, which is mostly still a pure white, but with a very slight tinge of blue to it, if you want to get a little bit more of a unique look without really compromising too much of the performance. Now, we don't offer anything above 6500K here because we don't want to compromise the performance in exchange for the looks so much to the point that your headlights aren't really that useful anymore. So you're not going to find anything 8000K, 10000K, none of that in the Morimoto Elite HID system. The last main component of the kit is going to be the wire harness. Now, most applications are just going to be fine with the HD relay harness, which uses actual traditional relays. It goes to the car battery, gets grounded, and then provides the power to the ballast through a full relayed wire harness. The other option, which is admittedly a little bit simpler, is what's called the standalone CAN bus. Standalone CAN bus relies on the factory wiring of the car to provide the power to the ballast. Uh, uses uh, some capacitors and also some resistors. These are mainly meant for a lot of European vehicles that have lamp out warnings that you need to cancel. Um, so we don't really recommend them unless you actually need them. And whether or not you need them depends on whether or not your vehicle has lamp out errors. Now, there's a couple other accessories that are optional in the kit. Sometimes people are a little bit confused by these, so I'll kind of explain them here. This is the anti-flicker capacitor link. Now, you would never use that in conjunction with the standalone canvas. You would only use it in conjunction if you're selecting the HD relay. A lot of modern cars like Chevy trucks, for example, um, they have pulsed width <coughs> modulation coming from their factory headlight circuit that'll translate into the relays and cause the headlights to flash unless you use a capacitor link. So if your vehicle uses a pulsed signal to run the headlight circuit, you will need the anti-flicker capacitor link in conjunction with the HD relay. The very last thing is this, which is a carbon fiber replacement bracket for the Morimoto ballast. Now, as you can see here, they come standard with a painted stainless steel bracket this one is merely a cosmetic upgrade for that. Does not actually do anything for the performance. It's not required. It's just all glitz. It does look cool though. So as you can see, here we have the full range of options in the Morimoto Elite HID system. And if you're unsure really what's best for you, you could always use the buyer's guide at the top of the page. Just put in your year, make, and model. Put in your preferences and it'll pop out just the right stuff for you.